it was a wipeout for the red corner in Warsaw's latest night of boxing. The evening got off to a smashing start with Wolverhampton-based Sid Bowater claiming victory over Ali Wyatt in his professional debut. I spoke to Sid after the match. I didn't want to rush too much because obviously I knew I was fit, but I didn't want to rush too much just in case because I knew he was a tough lad. After the first round, when I hurt him, like, he just kept coming back. Yeah, it felt, felt great though. Good to be back. I was actually, normally you don't hear anybody, but I could hear another coach I used to try and before and I could hear his instructions, I could actually hear people, so that, yeah, that was weird, but okay, we could hear people. But yeah, I just, I just, I don't really, t- I'll take the notes, just some instructions out there in Greeley and just do what my corner says and obviously it works, yeah. I'll have a little break now, after an all eight weeks diet. 8 to 12 weeks, but uh, yeah. yeah, I'll have another fight, maybe about 6 months, chill out, my brother's boxing on my birthday, so it'll be after that. The next two fights saw more home victories as Luke Paddock and Jason Wellborn both punched their way to victory. Next in the ring was Wolverhampton's Ben Wilkes. Wilkes was back with a vengeance after a short break from the gloves. He sealed a 40-36 win over James Child. I felt, I felt good in there. I was a bit nervous when coming up to it low, really nervous. Weighed, he weighed a little, coming a bit light. He was a little bit heavy, but I, uh, I, I knew I had the skills. To carry him. I'll be back, yeah, I'll be back. I enjoyed it in there, really enjoyed it. Ludlow's Craig Morris kept the clean sheet for the red corner, beating Kev McCauley 40-36. And to round off the night, two titles were up for grabs. The British Bronze Masters title went to Starbridge's Stephen Pearce, who fought off Amir Unsworth to claim the belt. The second and final title went to Staffordshire's Rob Hunt, who claimed vacant Midlands aerial welterweight title over his opponent, Sullivan Mason. With all the titles being claimed by Midlands boxers, could this be a new dawn for boxing talent in the West Midlands? Lois Rinnerton for the Midland at Walsall Town Hall.